it's a long way from the Big Easy to the Outer Banks, but several years ago, the Schrammel family sold a successful food business in New Orleans and moved to the island of Ocracoke, where they eventually built the restaurant of their dreams. Join us on a visit to the Flying Melon. You'll want to get in line early at the Flying Melon. The restaurant's offering of Creole and Southern cuisine, fresh local seafood, and a uniquely beautiful space in which to enjoy it is a big hit with local islanders and vacationers alike. This is one of the finest restaurants on the island, and that's why we're here. <laughs> I'm having the special, the tile fish with that uh, shrimp etouffee, and it's wonderful. I had two lump crab cakes. The service is fantastic, and the food is superb, and the place is beautiful. I come to this restaurant multiple times when I come out here, so we love it. It's one of those kind of places you can kind of feel at home. It's a really cool building. If you look at this, it's just it's crazy how cool they built this place. It's just very pretty and comfortable and relaxing. The fun part was decorating. and Some of the art we brought from New Orleans hung in our restaurant down there, and some of it is local artists. I'm really cheap, and so I um, was looking for a large chandelier. We were trying to replicate the way light-saving stations look. Sometimes they have a tall tower with small windows up top, and everything I looked at that was big enough was terribly expensive. And finally, on Craigslist, I found this chandelier, and it happened to be in a garage in Norfolk, and it's from Italy, and it's blown glass and copper, and it's pretty exciting to find, especially for $400. <laughs> so that was fun. Michael's been cooking for a living since he was 17 years old. When I met him, he was working at a couple of different restaurants in New Orleans, and then I would go and wash dishes at the restaurant at night so I could see him. My mom, her maiden name was Marie Langlois, and her family were original settlers in Louisiana. So the, the, my heritage in the Louisiana food goes way back. And I've always liked New Orleans cooking. And some of that different influences, La Provence, the first place I worked, that was a French style restaurant. It wasn't Creole or Louisiana cooking at all. I always try to make everything the best I can. You might want to do an appetizer, and that would be our fried green tomatoes with our shrimp remoulade. I have a mahi that I've seared and then baked in the oven to finish it. It's going to be on a bed of wilted spinach. It'll be with our rice pilaf. We'll also have a uh, shrimp etouffee sauce. And I do a lot of different kinds of meats. We do lamb racks. And we present it with a, a red wine bordelais sauce, which I also make a, a plum reduction to sweeten it a little bit. And it's a real nice sauce. Well, the main thing that I always want the customer to walk away with is that everything that they encounter is done right. Uh, we have, I think, by far the best cocktails on the island, which my son does, and I'm very, very pleased with how far he's brought that in the last couple of years. They kind of had me around the restaurant ever since I was a little kid, so generally I was just kind of hanging around the restaurant, eating food and uh, harassing the employees. <laughs> Fast forward to now, I'm doing the beverage program. I always want people to get more than they expect. Make people surprised that they can get such good food, good service, or cocktails on Ocracoke Island. In Ocracoke's that kind of island. People get together over coffee in the morning and they talk about what they did the night before. And cheers. You can't go wrong if you come here. This place is really, I think, the number one spot. The Flying Melon is located at 181 Back Road in Ocracoke. After Memorial Day, they will be open Tuesday through Saturday for dinner at 5 p.m. For more information, give them a call at 252-928-2533 or check them out on Facebook.